Yo, what's up boys? It's your Reese and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best tweaks for your PC that are completely harmless. So you don't have to worry about any malware or viruses. I also use these tweaks so I wouldn't be giving you anything that can damage your PC. As always, if you enjoy any part of this video, don't forget to like and comment on the video. And if the tweaks really do help you out, consider subscribing. Let's go. This next tweak that I'm about to show you guys is my personal favorite. So I need you to follow this step by step so you don't mess anything up. Make sure you listen to me. Listen to everything I'm saying. First, go directly to your search bar and type in Windows PowerShell. Once it pops up, don't press open. You need to run as administrator for this to work. Now that you're in PowerShell, I need you to go directly to the description of this video and copy the link that I have right under PowerShell run as administrator. Once you do that, come back to PowerShell and paste it in here and don't touch anything until it opens up. Once you get that link and you paste it, all you have to do is right click. It'll load for a couple seconds. Just give it a couple seconds, be patient. As you can see, you are now in the tweak page. The next thing that you guys wanna do is come over here to the second tab called tweaks and click on it. Once you get on this tweak page, it will be completely blank for you. But as you can see, these are my settings right here. So check everything that I have checked. And one important thing I do wanna mention, if you are on laptop, do not turn off set hibernation as default because this will absolutely kill your battery. This is the second half. I'm gonna give you guys like five seconds to copy this. On the right hand side, they do have a preference. So if you want to customize anything over here, you can for me, like I have the dark theme on, I really like that, but yeah, you can do anything over there, but this is just basically how you want your PC to look. Now, before you run these tweaks, I need you to double check. Make sure you have a restore point just in case anything goes bad. Once you run these tweaks, the restore point is the first check mark right under essential tweaks. And you need to double check that you have everything checked that I told you to check. After you do that, come down here and press run tweaks. It might take five minutes, it might take 10 minutes. Let it run its course and it'll tell you when it's done. This is what it'll look like once it starts running the tweaks. I had to record it off my phone because obviously once these tweaks start running, I can't record anything anymore, but don't get scared. It's basically gonna be doing everything one by one that you checked off. So just wait until it's done. It'll keep giving you updates. Once everything is done, it will give you this message. Tweaks are finished and then you're good to go. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to properly uninstall your current driver and reinstall the best current driver with none of the bloatware for zero input delay. The first thing you wanna do is come to this website. This website will be linked in the description of this video. Once you get here, click on this right here. After you get here, make sure you go to download DDU installer. You will click on this and then download it and open it. Once you get in here, this is what it'll look like. You'll basically go here, select your device type. Obviously this is for a GPU and whatever GPU you have, it'll automatically detect it. As I said earlier, I have an Nvidia GPU and it automatically shows it right there. The next thing you wanna do is go directly to options. Make sure you copy all of these settings. Once you do that, press close. Right after you get done, press clean and restart, which is highly recommended. Now to install your driver with none of the bloatware, you need to go to NV clean install. The link to this will be in the description, but once you get here, all you do is press download and then you hit the one that says closest to you. Once it says done, just click on it. So it says currently NV clean install does not work with the new most recent drivers. That's basically what it's saying. No problem because I'm going to show you guys the best driver to download. Once you get into NV clean install, you want to make sure that you're manually selecting a driver version and also make sure show all versions is checked. The driver you want to download is 552.44. Make sure that you're only selecting display driver, which is required. I'm really against using GeForce Experience because it has hella input delay and I'm talking about hella input delay. You need to start clipping with OBS, which is what I'm using to make this video right now. After that, you'd hit next and then it'll get ready to install it. Once you're here, just hit next and then it'll say your customized installer is now ready and then you'd hit install and then it'll be easy from there. After that install, for some reason, when I first did it, 
it reset all my Nvidia settings, so I'm gonna give you guys the best settings. So if it did reset yours, be assured I got you. The first thing I want you guys to do is go straight into your control panel, whichever graphics card you may have. For me, I'm with Nvidia, so I have Nvidia control panel. The first thing that you guys wanna look at is your refresh rate. As you can see, I play on 360 hertz. A lot of you guys that are new to PC get a 240 hertz monitor and it's capped at 60 and you're wondering why it feels slow or like crap. It's because you don't have it on the correct refresh rate. So you want to go here, click it, and make sure you put it on the correct hertz, which is the highest hertz. After you do that, just make sure you press apply. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is my 3D settings. Make sure to follow along with me. Now with low latency mode, I have this on Ultra, but this is because I have a 3070 Ti, which is considered a 30 series graphics card. If you have a 20 series or lower, make sure you put this on or off. Since I have a 3070 Ti once again, I can run this on Ultra or on with no problem. If you have a lower series card, this may give you problems. With OpenGL rendering GPU, make sure your current graphics card is selected. As you can see, I have a 3070 Ti, so that is selected. With power management mode, make sure you prefer maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate, make sure it says highest available. And once you get down to threaded optimization, make sure you turn that on as well. Texture filter quality, make sure that's on high performance. After that, I think that's pretty much all of my settings and you can go back if you missed anything. This is like a hidden secret that a lot of players don't know about. For this, you wanna be in Bluetooth and devices. Once you get here, you want to go all the way down until you see more devices and printer settings. Now that we're in here, my mouse does look like a keyboard, but as you can see, it says Model D Pro Wireless, which is my mouse. I'm going to right click on it and all I'm going to do is go to mouse settings. Once I get here, the double click speed, make sure you put this on fast. So when you double edit, it happens instantly. I'm going to test it out on this folder. Oh my God. For this next tweak, you're just gonna go into your settings. All you wanna do, even though it's right there, some of you guys might not have the same layout, you'll type in gaming, and then you'll go to graphics settings. Once you get there, you wanna go to Fortnite, whichever one is downloaded under, C or D. I have it under both, but I'll just click on C for you guys because I know that's the most common one. You wanna make sure optimizations for windowed games is on and you wanna make sure it says high performance on your graphics card. The next thing you wanna find is startup apps. Once you go there, you wanna make sure certain apps are not starting up with your PC. As you can see, I don't have any of these apps starting up. The only one I have starting up is my ad blocker because I use that when I'm watching Twitch or YouTube or using Spotify. You don't have to do the same, but me, this is the only app I have starting up. I have no input delay at all. Now you want to go to your search bar and type in device manager. I'm already in it. I'm going to full screen. Now go to keyboards. You want to right click on it. Go to properties. Go to power management. Make sure this is unchecked. Go to HID compliant mouse. Properties. Power management. Make sure this is unchecked as well. Press OK. While you're still in here, you want to go to system devices. It's going to be right here. You're going to scroll down until you see high precision event timer. You're going to right click and you're gonna make sure this is disabled. You don't want this on or you're gonna have hella input delay, trust me. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your search bar, type registry editor, make sure you run it as administrator. Where my cursor is, there will be a text right here. You wanna delete this text and go into the description and right under registry editor one, copy and paste that right into this bar. After you do that, just press enter and then it'll pop up. Before we change anything, Make sure you take a picture or a screenshot of your default settings. Don't come in my comments saying, yo, it messed up. I don't know how to change it. I'm giving you the opportunity right now to take a picture before we change these settings. So go ahead and do that. Now, make sure your affinity is at zero, clock rate 10,000, GPU priority eight, priority eight, scheduling high, SFIO, Hi. Yo Reese, I don't know how to change them. I don't know how to change them. It won't let me click on them. It won't let me click on them. Go over here, double click, change it there. And then press okay. There you go, buddy. Now, 
we're going to be going right back into registry editor this is the second part of it so make sure you run it as administrator again you're going to do the same thing that you just did you're going to go to the top bar and then you're going to delete it and then you're going to go to the video description and you're going to go under registry editor 2 copy and paste and then you're going to copy the text and paste it in the bar after you deleted the text that's there once you do that you want to go to system responsiveness and you want to make sure this bad boy is at zero quick thing i do want to mention before you put this at zero if you have a low end pc i recommend putting this at three if you have a 20 series card or better put this at zero there you go this tweak is for your cpu and for your ram so make sure you listen to me closely so what you want to do is you want to hold shift and then you want to go to your windows button you want to make sure you click on your power button while you're still holding shift and then you want to press restart while you're pressing shift hold it the entire time until the next screen pops up after you press restart once you get to the blue screen you want to click on troubleshoot your mouse probably will be moving kind of slow you want to go to advanced options and then you want to make sure you go into uefi firmware settings and then press restart once you get into the bios you will have to use your arrow keys or your mouse but it will be really slow if you use your mouse so i do recommend using arrow keys as you can see game boost right there make sure you turn game boost on and make sure you turn axmp on and use profile 2 after you do that exit and then you're done and if you don't know how to exit all you have to do is click the x up top once you do click that it'll say save configuration and exit and then you would just press yes which is enter on mine and then you're done I do consider this a tweak because it cleans up your PC because if you do have malware or any virus on your PC, it can cause a ton of input delay. So let me show you guys how to do this. If your download didn't start automatically, make sure you click right here. Once you get the download, just click on this and then go to the folder and open it. Once you open it up, all you want to do is hit scan and it'll give you an option to clean it. Once it gets done, I don't know how in the hell, but as you can see, it does work. I have 11 items detected. After you do this, you will press quarantine to get rid of them. Now, for the last and final tweak that you guys ask me about all the time and if I use it or not, is filter keys. And yes, I do use this and yes, I love it. Is it one of my favorite tweaks as well? Yes. The website link for this will be in the description. Make sure once you get to the website, you just come down and you click on this link right here. Once it gets done downloading, after you click on it, you'll come here to this little folder, click on it, You'll come here, right click, you'll go to Breezip or whatever you extract files with, and then you'll press extract here. After you extract here, just double click on it, and then it'll open immediately. Let's go over my settings. So for ignore, you wanna have that at zero, repeat delay, 90, and repeat rate, 25. Make sure on is checked, make sure available is checked. And make sure save to registry is checked as well, so once you restart your PC, you don't have to apply these settings again. And how do you turn it off? All you do is uncheck on and press OK, and then you're good to go. Yo, now we're back in the lobby. I'm going to do a quick pre-build of my 1v1 map called Yori's 1v1 Build Fights. If you guys want to try the map out, feel free. The map code will be on screen. But we're going to test this out, and I'm going to show you guys that these tweaks are very valid. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and comment on the video, and consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.